First of all, the game is not dying and I'm tired of people using the Sands of Tower port to claim based on low revenues that Soul Living Rise is going to die. But that doesn't mean we don't have our fair share problems right now. As you can see from the state of the Korean forums, there's a lot of problems going on there. Players are frustrated. And that's because we have so many pressing issues right now. I do have this ongoing list here and I have yet to cross out anything from this list. So let's go over that and let's go over all the doomer talk going around, which I'm honestly sick and tired of. Now, when I do serious topics like this, I'm not a fan of advertising my channel, but if you haven't supported because your support does get removed, another annoying thing I'm not a fan of, make sure you go to the link down below to support us, that way I can send you free codes. And do subscribe if you want, I do appreciate it. We're almost at the 100k mark, but let's go back to the information I do want to cover. And I know it's my job as the, you know, quote unquote, number one creator to voice the player's concerns, but that's not really the case for me. I'm just doing it because I want everyone to have fun. We love the IP, we love the game, so I just want to see it succeed, and for everyone to just enjoy themselves and not have to suffer every single day. First of all, this was all sparked based on this post right here. So I made a post on the Soul Loving Rise subreddit claiming that anyone who is saving for Andre is about to get wrecked because we have a new summoning pass. Oh wow. And this got 88 upvotes. I think what they're missing is that summoning ticket is from the tutorial. It's not a new thing. It's been around since the game was released. So I feel like nowadays anyone is clinging to anything that isn't a pressing issue, claiming based on this, the game is going to die. And I'm just not a fan of that. Again, the real issues are listed right here, which I will cover. But again, as I mentioned earlier, in my opinion, using the Sense Star Report for Solving Rise is one of the dumbest things you can use. Although this game is on mobile, sure, the revenues do not reflect the state of the game. It may be an indicator, but you have to remember, anyone who is a pay to win player, or at least is smart enough, will make their purchases on PC, again, if they have the ability, of course. We get coupons in the mail every single week telling us to, hey, buy from the web store, make sure to purchase on PC, and also, we get 10% back in Arise points. So that's why everyone uses the web shop to make their purchases, meaning, it's not going to be reflected here on the Sensor Tower monthly report. So we have no idea what the accurate number is. Sure, it's an indication, but over the past few weeks, we've had less packages, less hype for hunters, so spending is going to naturally be down when a lot of players did skip the recent banners, but this still does not indicate the game is dying. Sick and tired of seeing this. Listen, I can be a doomer too, but not over this. The web shop makes millions and millions of dollars. Again, if you didn't know, if you're making purchases, use the web shop, you get 10% back on all purchases. So if you spend $1,000, you get $100 back in points you can spend in the game. Just so if you didn't know, make sure you use the web shop. It is very beneficial. But going back to what I mentioned earlier, as you can see, the Korean forums are basically in an uproar. I've never seen them in the state before. And apparently a lot of issues on the Korean side when it comes to the actual competitions. A lot of proxy competitors, apparently and other issues between the management and the delivery. Not too sure just yet. I will get more info on this, but Netmarble, there are a lot of things you have to care of. As you can see, you have a very passionate player base. None of us actually want to see the game dying, but that doesn't mean we don't want the pressing issues being addressed. One of my favorite things about this game was on the initial release, and a few months after release, I feel like we always had these CM notes coming in, CM Iron would always update us on what's to come, things they're doing, etc. And I was so shocked to see that. Games don't really do that too often, so I was so pleasantly surprised seeing the devs cared so much. But going forward, I feel like there's been a lot of silence that I'm not a fan of. Again, I do want to see this game succeed. I'm a fan of the IP. I'm a fan of the devs. I'm a fan of everyone who plays this game. The community is so great. But again, based on the issues I have on the screen here, we have a lot of things to take care of. First of all, the continued user bans on my videos, on Discord, on every social media platform I have. Every single day I'm seeing an increase in user bans. Still, they have not stopped. And then Marble has no notice yet on the increased ratio of bans. And also, we haven't seen a report from the Faction of the Shield stating how many bans we've had in the past month or so. I said this in my previous video. I really don't think that update is going to come out. I feel like there's been a big jump in the bands. So again, we do need to notice on this ASAP because we have to know why players are being banned. Trust me when I say I can vouch for a lot of these players, they are not hacking. 
These are false positives. I'm very upset. People are losing their accounts that I worked so hard on, which is just not fair now. We have more issues, of course. The lack of global focus in the short term, that's fine, not an issue. But if this is a trend where global players are not getting awards, they're not getting events, they're not getting these competitions, that's a huge issue. T.Y. Pell on my video stated he just wants to compete. I'm sure you've seen his videos. He makes fantastic world record runs. So it's honestly not fair that individuals like him cannot compete and tons of other individuals who are so passionate about this game, who just want to play on the world front, showing their skills. That's what the game is about. So we'll have to see how the devs handle this again. In the short term, it's fine. I'm going to say it's okay. The devs can practice hosting an event. It's so much easier on their home turf, but going forward, this needs to change 100%. Now, another issue everyone talks about that I'm sick of, and every other player is sick of as well, that hopefully we'll see change very soon, that the devs have addressed, the ratio of exclusive hunters versus manual hunters. Uh, again, not enough. I've stated before, the best thing to do that I think is fair for the game, none of that dual banner BS, what they have to do is stagger how many exclusives they release and how many manual hunters they release. So in my opinion, the best thing to do is release one exclusive and then release one manual hunter. That way, if someone is not a fan of the exclusive, they can just take a break, save up their tickets, and then summon only next month for the next manual hunter. So this rotation does make sense. Instead of doing, let's say, multiple exclusives and then multiple manual hunters, that is if the devs keep on planning to release these exclusive hunters, which again, players are not a fan of, at least if they do this, please do some male hunters. I know that sounds weird to say, giggity, but that is what we want truly. Although the revenue numbers are bad, it indicates that players are not a fan generally of the banner being released, not buying any packages, not buying any tickets, not summoning for them, just saving up. So again, we'll have to see once Thomas Andre is released, how the revenue numbers do react. But again, it's a terrible figure to look at, not accurate, but it does give us some idea, although not that great. So I do want to see the suggested ASAP. This is a pressing issue. Tired of seeing a bulk of exclusives, a block of female hunters, and you know, one manual hunter thrown to the mix. Just makes no sense to me, but going on, the mobile optimization issues does need an explanation. Basically, play on mobile is a pain. I really want to see the devs make the championship based on mobile play. I can tell you right now, it would not be a pretty sight. So the devs need to fix this ASAP, and I mean ASAP. We're losing our player base because who wants to play on mobile? It's just such a pain. Now, going back to the lack of global focus, the global codes just suck. They're so bad, they're trash, literally giving us those fabric materials. Who the heck wants a code for that? Makes no sense. My boy CM Prism getting shafted on the codes. Give him something good to give out. That way he puts a smile on our faces. Now, next up, something general. Quality of life improvements need to be implemented. I'm just sick of doing POD, that being power of destruction. Two battles every single day. It's still repetitive, still boring. Can the devs just let us take our best score and just use that on repeat for registering our score? And that way, if we actually want to do the dragon, we can do it, getting a better score. I know it's not the best suggestion. Maybe someone will sweat to get the best score possible and just use that forever. But again, it's an improvement. I'm just so tired of spending, you know, eight minutes minimum every single day on doing the dragon on repeat. Just doesn't provide a benefit. So I do want to see that revamped and also our keys. They should just let us sweep instead of having to do the run every single time. Makes no sense. If you get three stars, give us the ability to completely sweep the game mode. It's just such a waste of time doing missions you've already completed before. Just makes no sense to me. A lot of games do offer the sweep feature. So please, devs, when it comes to repetitive content, just let us sweep. Obviously, with some conditions, like I mentioned, having three trophies for the game mode. But saving your players from manual labor every single day is a plus, so please do consider it. And also a change of pace from launch. There is a lack of hype. As you know, leaks are gone, but no teasers are coming in. A lack of CM posts, like I mentioned. So devs do need to drive a bit of hype going into every single update. The periods of silence are the worst for gacha games. People lose interest, people get bored. People need something to look forward to. So please give us a light at the end of the tunnel. I don't want to see black every single day. I want to see a light that keeps shining, making us play the game every single day. Something to look forward to, because we do desperately need that, but something we don't need is the dual banners. 
especially when we have minimal rewards. I feel like we're getting the same amount of rewards as we would have if we had a single banner. So this is a huge negative. I hope this is the last dual banner we're getting. It just makes no sense. No one's a fan of it. What's the point? I also feel like we're not getting too many hunter weapons when it comes to dual banners, especially the stupid dice event. Oh my gosh. They even nerfed the rewards for this dice event. I feel like I've caught in no weapons, even though I've done over a thousand summons on both banners. That is combined, of course. So fix this issue and fix all these issues. That way we can actually go ahead and enjoy the game. Everyone can be positive. No more negativity because we love the IP. We love the game. We just don't want to see it fail. That's why I make these videos. That's why people voice their concerns because we just want to see positive change so we can finally sit down enjoy the game have fun and not have to suffer when we play something we want to enjoy so if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like that way it have you know we actually care about these issues i know right now i'm the number one creator but what does that even mean if i'm not voicing the concerns of everyone else so let's hope from the list of the issues they fix at least one thing one thing and i'll be happy but everything does need address but if you enjoy do drop a like make sure to subscribe we're almost at the 100k mark growing every single day and do support us of course it's free the link is down below that way i can send you a bunch of free codes and also just a very quick shout out to all my top supporters a lot of you have nids with no nickname just yet so please do up to your name that way i can give you the love you deserve it means a lot to me not only to my top 10 supporters but to everyone who is supporting thank you so much i do appreciate it and with a quick congrats to HXRZIT and also David C from the first two commenters on the last two videos. Here are your shoutouts and enjoy your juicy Discord rolls. And on that note, this was your code King Zaf signing out.